you're going to hit a wall. A lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, don't come out here because they don't want to hit the wall. Everybody hits the wall. No one's exempt. There's a period. Let me tell you how it goes. When things are going real good, when you first start off, life is playing with you. You're going to be going and things are looking great. You're excited. You're going to tell everybody about it. And then all of a sudden you hit a wall. And that wall stung some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. It didn't work out for them. They hit the wall and they turned around. The wall is painful. It's painful hitting that wall. And I'm saying to you, all of us will hit the wall until you have had the taste of finishing. You will not respect yourself. Until you follow through, until something is done, come hell or high water, tears and struggles and pain, and you go through it anyway, and you show up and you continue to fight on, no matter the circumstances, after a while, something begins to wither inside of you. Every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. I know what it is to walk the floor and you don't know how you're going to make it when people no longer believe in you and you are all you got and you got to say to yourself when you fail again and again they tell you no sometimes with tears guys it's possible every time I got my ass kicked in everything I did whether it be a fight or a test or going to seal train or ranger school can't hurt me can't hurt me can't hurt me it starts to get in your mind. And before you know it, it's the truth. So when you fail, you fall on your ass, somebody bullies you, whatever's going on in your life, can't hurt. Because why that saying is true, is not because you say it. You have to put the work in to develop that callous mind to believe it's true. When life stagger you, the thing that'll get you up on your knees, Get you standing in the center of the ring and find something from somewhere deep down in to keep on slugging and keep on fighting is, it's possible. It's possible. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. The world thinks I failed, but the truth is I got you right where I want you. Be a destiny and collusion. Feed the dream and starve the illusion. I'm not weak. I'm just strong in the making. I started rehearsing success, and I just said, I'm gonna let failure take me totally by surprise if it ever happens, because I'm never going to allow myself to think about it. And so now, anytime I find myself like, ooh, that could be like a risky situation, I say to myself, no, no, no. This is an opportunity for me to shine. This is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna get out there. I'm prepared. I was preparing myself. You know that. You're ready to rock and roll. Let's do the damn thing. And because that's what I start repeating in my head. When you're trying to avoid the pain, when you're trying to avoid the struggle, when you're trying to avoid the hard things in life, you are actively choosing to be average. You are actively choosing to be mediocre. And you are actively choosing to move further away from what you want in life. Because that hardship and that pain and that struggle and that frustration, they give you the skills that will forge you into a mother champion. All right, so remember that shit when you try to take the easy route. The easy route never pays well. The only route in life that pays well is the hard route, the struggle, the pain, the frustration, and the overcoming of those things. And not only do they pay, they fulfill you as well. Because it shows the people around you. It shows your kids. It shows your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your community. 
what is possible. And there's nobility in that. 